All right, this video is a request. Uh, this is a Honda Rencon engine. Uh, same applies for the Honda Pioneer 700 and also the uh, Honda Big Red uh, 700. So these Honda engines use a torque converter and an oil pump. Um, so the torque converter is basically just similar to a real car. Um, so if you, these Honda engines are kind of notorious for having issues where they don't shift right later on in life. Um, it could be a situation where they shift fine when they're cold, but they slip when it's hot, when the, when the oil gets hot. Or it could slip when the, when the oil's cold and it runs fine when it's hot. So those two issues usually boil down to either a torque converter problem or an oil pump problem. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have to pull the cover, drain the oil, pull the engine out to find out which one of the problems, you know, it is. Um, I did a video on how to remove this. You just get a three jaw puller and you connect it to the uh, bead around here. Um, and you need, you're going to have to have something to hold the three jaw puller tight uh, so it doesn't slip. And then you just use the impact and it comes off. Um, so if you're having a problem with, with it when it's slipping, if slipping when it's hot or if it's slipping when it's cold, that's a pressure problem. This oil pump creates pressure, um, that it sends to the clutch, the other clutch with the torque converter. Um, so the first thing to, to check is that these were notorious for having O-ring problems. So these, this right here is notorious for um, make ripping the o, the uh, the O-ring rubber seal. It rips it in half, and this is what it looks like. This is like razor sharp. So sometimes at the factory. Or sometimes when you're, if you, if someone ever went in here and did some work and they, you know, put it back on there, if they weren't careful, you'll rip this and you won't know it. You have pressure problems. So this is the back of the case right here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And the O-ring goes right there. And there's another piece of another O-ring that was broken. So in here and in here is where you're going to have your O-ring problems. If it's an O-ring problem, um, that's going to be the simplest and the easiest fix. Um, I also did a video that shows how to tell if your chain is too loose. If your chain is too loose and has been stretched, that's also going to cause slipping problems um, because it's the, the, the oil pump is not turning quick enough. It's not building enough oil pressure. Now, I also have another video on how to tell if your torque converter is bad. I have to upload that later. But it, but usually the torque converters don't use they don't usually go bad unless you have contaminated oil, meaning you got water, sand, mud in it, in your oil that ruins the uh, torque converter, or if you just didn't you know take care of your oil, you didn't do oil changes. Um, those could be issues with that, that just kill the torque converter. Um, usually the, the clutches are fine. Um, it's usually a oil pump problem, oil chain, or the torque converter. You know, if you, if you have having slipping problems. All right. All right. Just, just a heads up. Okay, so when you're putting your new O-rings on, I would just replace both of them because I showed you the one that was cracked or ripped. This one looks okay until you look closer and you can see that it's been smashed. See? It's around there. It's been smashed right there. So when it's smashed, you're going to lose oil pressure still. So what you want to do is, do, when you're replacing your oil rings, do not put the O-ring in here. 
you want to place it on the oil pump side. If you place them, if you place the O-ring on here when you reassemble this case, as soon as this O-ring in here is going to meet that sharp um, brass circle or inlet or outlet on the oil pump, it's going to shred this O-ring again. So what you want to do is you want to put the O-ring on the pump and then carefully put the cover on the oil pump. And that will make sure that your oil rings don't get ripped or, or smashed again. Because then you'll have to do this all over again. 